Hey guys, welcome to another video. It seems to be a regular thing now. Um, I won't always keep up these daily videos, but uh, for now, um, I'm going to entertain you a little bit. So currently, uh, well, yesterday we spoke about the theming from the current uh, window manager themes to the new CSD uh, client-side decoration themes, the GTK themes and the transition of moving from this to this and then I noticed something else that it's not just the system it's not just a system manager a settings manager and a couple of other dialogues but it's actually also the about dialogues that it seems to be just random dialogues at this stage and I'm guessing that more and more of these GUIs are going to be moving over to CSD but for now it seems that it's actually kinda almost everywhere uh, hidden, you know, behind a, 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 an about GUI dialogue or something. And so, this left me with the option of if I can't move everything to there, to this, then I need to find a way to make this look as close as possible to this. So that the transition from this to this is even more seamless. Now, uh, it, it is quite difficult, I'm not a pro themer, so I'm learning as I'm going, but it's quite difficult for this to become this because everything is different. The buttons are different sizes, the board is a different size, you know, everything's kind of different. But, I am able to make some adjustments. So, for example, if we go to, let's take a look what I've done. So if, if we take a look to my modifications, I've done some modifications, you'll see that the ring is gone now. You had a ring right around the box that is gone. You've got a simple line under the, um, under the top there. All, all along the top there you've got a simple line. The, uh, this button was highlighted by default. It is not anymore. It's now just plain black. The buttons only highlight when you move the mouse over now. So you don't have highlights by default. The text was highlighted with a little box. That is gone. Uh, in fact, let's compare. I can just show you what it looked like before. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Again, look at that. This was before. Button was highlighted. The text was highlighted. You had a ring around the box. Uh, pretty much a lot of the colors, the, the whole thing popped up with color, you know, it was colorized everywhere, sorry, that's the word I'm looking for, colorized, whereas in now it's trimmed down a lot, you have a much more sort of darker black look with just a single line running along the bottom, and the buttons now simply just highlight when you hover over them. Now that might look a little plain, but let me show you, if you now go to about, that's not a massive leap from there to there. Here the buttons highlight as well. The border might be a little thicker, but that's because it's GTK. Uh, the button, the close button highlights when I hover over it. This close button highlights when I hover over it. Uh, this is a black background. This is a black background. Those buttons highlight. These buttons highlight. So uh, it's not a massive leap from here to there. It kind of does fit. You might think, okay, but there's still a line over there. Yeah, I left that because, uh, you know, there are lines around here. There's lines around the dialog boxes. If you open up something like your software center, for example, um, there's a line that runs underneath the software center. So certain dialog boxes in the GTK theme does have a line that runs underneath, and the line is the color that you choose. You know, if you if you change the color scheme to another color, that line then changes to that color scheme. Let's make it red. Now you'll see red over there, red over there, and uh, if you open up the software center now, that line over there is red. The buttons are red. Uh, you know, this button's red. The buttons that you click are red. It's not unsimilar to this that's got a red line underneath and the buttons that highlight red as well and you know if you click about and select buttons and click on closed it's very similar to that theme this one's just on a smaller scale it's it's more narrow but it's very similar so um, in a sense 
it's actually a very seamless transition from that to this if we have the themes looking similar so eventually this will get replaced by this but in the meantime while uh, while the transitions happening the two themes will look very similar so there won't be a massive difference between the themes so it's not like you're opening up one theme and then suddenly it's completely changed to another um, they are very similar looking now look at that and I mean look at that and then you know look at that it's a, it's a thinner theme but it's very similar also uh, a couple other changes with the new 4.16 they cut the, there's a lot more support for highlighting things like buttons and just hovering over icons and stuff even if you sort of go to your logout screen everything highlights nicely so there's a lot more colorization with the GTK now so although you you might think oh but they they all this coloring on the borders is being lost and so forth maybe but there is also a lot being gained on things like buttons and so forth I, I changed to orange and now look everything's orange so colorization still plays a big big role which is nice because if this falls away then this is pretty much all you're gonna have so when you change a color you don't just want minor changes you know you want massive changes you want the, the, the icons to change you want the borders to change you want buttons to change you want highlights to change everything must change you know so um, yeah this the colorization of your theme still plays a massive role because it literally changes the whole look of the OS um, so yeah so that's my small update for today uh, that uh, the default theme is now going to look like this and not like that so it's simply just going to have a, a nice little line over there it's going to be very dark dark borders dark theme but the buttons are still going to highlight the same color as before and this will allow us to transition transition from that to that more seamlessly and for the two themes to sort of run side by side without it being too much of a huge thing. Uh, I suppose I could have removed this line, but once again, there are some dialogues in the GDK that does have the line underneath, and so I wanted to at least keep some color in the existing theme. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's the update for today. Not massive. Um, I'm looking forward to the next uh, next update from the XFCE team to see what else has changed. For now. Everything seems to be okay in core. Uh, I don't think they're going to be making massive changes back end that will affect us. Most likely just theming, and I think we are ready for that now. So uh, the more windows they move over to, the more dialogues they move over to this, it will be a very easy transition for us. Um, which is nice because even if, even if we release and 4.16 is just being released or hasn't been released yet and it's not in the repos or put to repos yet and so people end up using the old theme that's fine because the old team works just fine the old borders they work just fine out of the box but if 4.16 comes out the majority of the dialog boxes or all of them are uh, like this then we're fine as well because that theme is in the OS as well so either way we are fine um, either way it will be a, a very easy transition for us the only thing I would have to update is this actual dialog box where you choose the the actual window borders and GTK separately if they if if the if we move to 4.16 in fact I'm already thinking that maybe I should already start looking at removing this and just uh, keeping this as the default theme and if people want to go change to a different border they can simply just do it in the in the window manager that might be something that I might look at to just remove this completely and just keep the, the, the GTK because you know within a month or two this is going to be obsolete anyway I don't, I just, I don't see the point of keeping it around uh, you know to squeeze any kind of last minute juice out of it so most likely this is going to disappear this, this middle piece here and uh, yeah either way it's going to be pretty seamless and easy transition for us to uh, something else I wanted to point out that I didn't yesterday is that if you change to 3d 
3D is a different window manager. It actually uses the compass or, or the compass slash emerald window manager. So the 3D themes are not affected by the new 4.16 update. They unless unless they break compass in 4.16, but I don't see that happening. Um, XFCE team usually doesn't make major changes that break things, which is nice. That's the reason I like XFCE. Unlike Gnome and a lot of the other guys that just seamlessly break everything as they go. Um, so the uh, uh, compass slash emerald window borders are still fully functional with themes. If you now go back to the same, let's go back to the same uh, 3D manager, you'll see that this GUI has changed. You can now change your settings there, but you can also go to your 3D border themes. And now you can still go and go crazy with editing border themes. So that would obviously apply to your 3D settings, your emerald settings. Turn it off again and once again you are back to the old borders, the ones that come with the system, the ones that run off the um, actual window manager XFW M window manager. So in a nutshell we are moving from this to this and then ultimately to this so that's the transition anyway that's it that's another video wrap for me so if you are worried about uh, your 3d theming and 3d borders they are still there they are unaffected this is purely for the uh, XF XFCE window manager slash moving to CSD client side decorations that's the transition that I can see that they're making in the XFCE development team now so I'm just making sure that our operating system is ready for it so that when we do move over, it's not such a huge jump from this to this. We've now created themes for the GTK and we've got matching themes on the window manager or similar themes on the window manager as close as I can match as possible. Uh, at least with my limited skills. If I was a pro themer, I could probably do a better job, but I think this is okay. Since these are going to be obsolete, I don't see the point in spending months trying to perfect them. Um, so yeah, moving from this to this, and yeah, Bob's your uncle, as they say. That's it. That's another video from me. Just a short clip. It just uh, shows some progress. I am working on this daily. I'll probably do some more work on it. Uh, core is looking really, really, really nice. And uh, thanks for watching and keep supporting us. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.